What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. Today we are in my bathroom because it is a self-care day all about pampering myself, catering to myself just randomly. Once a week or once every two weeks, I have one of these days where I don't take any clients, I don't answer any emails, no, I'm not doing nothing for your event, no, I'm not available. So today is one of those much-needed days where I just take care of some things. I really wanted to do my hair. I just took out this bob. If you watch my past few videos, you would have seen it. And for the most part, the hair was fine. Like, it still had a lot of body to it and stuff. But, um, because I don't really go anywhere. I work at night. Um, nothing's really going on throughout the day. I'm tending to clients. I was pulling my bob back in a ponytail. And it's like, I went through all the trouble of cutting it and styling it and doing all of this. And then, by the time it's time to go to work, I'm just pulling it back in a ponytail. Then, last weekend, I did this style where... I wanted to try to swoop it over my eye and I wore a headband and I had to spritz it to keep it looking the way I wanted it to look and so I kind of damaged the front of my bot with all of that spritz. Once I tried to wash it out and flat iron it, it just didn't move the same as the rest of the hair. So I took that bob out and now I'm going to install this wig. It's a random day in the middle of the week. I really don't have it in me to just do braids. That's something I have to mentally wrap my head around when it comes to doing my own hair so um i just found a wig that i wore at the beginning of the year at the top of the year i made this wig it is a u-part wig y'all i do not wear closures or frontals nothing against it but i haven't mastered doing those types of styles on myself for someone else i could but on myself i have not mastered a closure or a frontal so i still wear u-part wigs and i leave a leave out out but anyway, I wore this wig at the beginning of the year, and I probably wore it for like a week or two before I got tired of it and decided to switch to something else. So the hair is still really good. I enjoyed this wig when I wore it before. So I decided that today for self-care day, I was going to install this wig, and I'll probably only wear it this time again, maybe one or two weeks before I actually do the braids that I really want to do um, with the hair that I purchased already. Um. So yeah. I'll be installing this wig. I need to refresh it a little bit. Um, this is three bundles. I believe it is two 26s and one 28. Or one 26 and two 28s. I don't know. But it is a, I guess, off black. Kind of like deep, deep brown colored wig. And I just, you know, I cut the sewing out, I cut that bob out, and now I'm going to sew this wig on, probably add some curls to it, or straighten it, make it bone straight. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do to it, but I'm going to put that wig on. I just recently got my nails done. My nail tech does not do feet, so I go to her to get my nails done. It's a black-owned business, and then I still have to go to the Koreans um, to get my feet done. So I'll be going to get a pedicure today. I'll show you guys my nails since they're already done. I'll just have to give y'all a close up on what they look like. Kind of talk to y'all about what I decided to go for with this particular set. Get my toes done to match. I'll probably get this same like powder pink color. And then what else did I want to do? Hair, nails, wig. If my eyebrow lady is available today while I'm free, I'll go get my eyebrows done. I want to go get some wine, sit in a bath tonight, read a magazine or a book. I, I had started a book maybe back in May that I never got a chance to finish. Once stuff started opening back up and picking back up, I got back out there and forgot about my book. So tonight, while I have the time, I want to drink some wine. I'm going to take y'all to the liquor store with me and show y'all the wine that I like to get. Um, and yeah, just cater to myself. Take some time to myself. It's very important to me for my mental health, like I said, and my stress levels every now and then to do stuff like this. So I'm just going to show y'all how I self-care. Everybody is different, um, but for me, it is hair, nails. It's more so like the beauty of things. Some people self-care is just taking themselves out to eat or a wash day or retail therapy, going in the store and splurging on themselves, buying multiple outfits or if you love makeup, going into Ulta and buying a bunch of makeup. For me, it is hair, nails, feet. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned for this vlog because today we will self-care. And while we're speaking about self-care, these vitamins are to go. I'm pretty sure most women watching this vlog have already been put on, but these are what get me through. They are for energy, metabolism, bone, and immune support. I mainly use them for energy. And y'all, it is a known fact, proven fact from me. If you needed confirmation, because this is like, I think this bottle is $12 in Target. 
Um, if you ever wondered, should I really spend $12 on vitamins, some gummy vitamins? Y'all, listen to me. When I go without these and I run out, I'm drained. Like, these vitamins do help me. They do work in a lot of ways. So, if you're not on your women vitamins yet, these supercharged multivitamins... today and y'all I already sold the wig down this is not a hair video so if you guys want to see how I make and install my wigs let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on wig installations but I went ahead and just started styling the wig on camera for you guys and I'm going to insert a picture of the style I'm going for just some soft curls I'm pretty much following a look that I did when I first put this wig on or made the wig earlier this year so I'm just gonna throw a few curls in there. It doesn't take too long. It probably took me about 10 minutes to curl my hair. And then I moved right along to my edges. For my edges today and for this vlog, I wanted to use a package that I got from Duchess Braids. It was a gift from my aunt. She brought me several things, which I'm gonna talk to you guys about in just a minute. But for this particular segment of the video, I used the edge control and I loved it. It laid my hair down. It made my edges look like they were relaxed, like straight perm vibes. Aunt brought me this package. We both love Duchess Braids. She is a YouTuber and also a bomb hairstylist, a bomb braider. So my aunt, trying to support me, went ahead and brought me a package. And I already opened it because I wanted to review it and actually use the product before telling you guys about it so that I can tell you guys how I like the product. But this is her package and it's really cute. It's pink and I got a few items that I want to show y'all. So, of course, I got the edge control. That's what I used to um, style my hair just a couple minutes ago. She brought me two of those. So, I have two um, Duchess Braids edge controls right here. I also got a phone. This stuff has not been open or used yet, so... Give me a second. Uh oh, I didn't drop the lid, but this is the phone. She uses this when she does her knotless braids or her feet hand style. She lays this foam down on the braids and they come out so sleek and shiny and smooth. I cannot wait to do a braided style to put this foam on top of. It's really cute. And then I got combs in a watch. Well, I don't know what they call it. I guess it's the edge control band, but if y'all haven't seen these before, they're really popular now. Most braiders are starting to use them, so I'm sure y'all have seen them before, but just in case y'all haven't, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh-oh. Okay. So basically, it's just a little band. You put it on your wrist. Oh, it's so cute. It has Duchess braids on it. I'm going to link a couple of her videos in this clip so that you guys can see her channel. Check her out. She is amazing. But, yes, you put this band on, and then what you'll do is, let me use the one I already opened. You'll take a scoop of the edge control, a good scoop, and then you'll rub it onto the band. And as you're braiding, you can just tap it, braid, tap it, braid. Instead of having to keep scoop keep scooping like I did with this comb it'll already be on your band so when you're away from the stand like how my stand holds all of my products when you're away from this stand and you're braiding you can load it up with as much edge control as you want and then walk over to your client back and forth and apply the edge control without having to keep digging in the jar so you can put out as much as you want on your band and it doesn't move so cool and then last but not least I have a couple of her famous combs I'm gonna open up one pack just to show you guys up close how the combs look I got four of them but this is two and it also has her business name on them they're called the Duchess Braids precision combs and I got four of them and I'm gonna link a video where I'm gonna put in a clip of a video showing you guys how she uses them but this tool makes the part very defined this extra piece right up here makes the part very defined her braids come out really cute so my auntie brought me a really cute package. I got four combs, two edge controls, and this foam, all from Duchess Braids. And so far, I only used the edge control. So 
that's all I'm going to talk about in this particular video, but I also got this wristband. So again, you just put the gel on the wristband and then when you're braiding your client, you walk over to her and you just apply from the band and it doesn't come off. So thanks again, Auntie, if you're watching this. I really appreciate my package from Duchess Braids. You guys go check out Duchess Braids hair products. Now that my hair is done, I want to show you guys my nails. I told my nail tech pink unicorn vibes and that is what she delivered. After I got my nails done, you guys, I went to go get my toes done and I booked a deluxe pedicure at my favorite nail spa for feet called D Nails. I always let them do my pedicures, y'all. They have the best pedicures I've ever had. Like in every city I've lived in, I've tried different places. This by far is the best place that I've went to for feet. They let you customize your pedicures. Obviously, the more you want from them as far as services, the more you're going to pay. I got the deluxe pedicure, which was $37. It included a deep scrub with their mango butter scrub and a CBD mask treatment. Right now, she is putting on the mango honey butter scrub and she's just going to massage it into my feet and then scrub it in really good. After that, she's going to put in the mint CBD mask and then wrap me up in a hot towel. Y'all, this is my favorite part. The chair is a massage chair, so I'm getting my back massaged. My feet are wrapped up in this mask. And after she removes the mask, y'all, the final touch she does before polishing is this hot stone treatment. Lynn is my girl. Once I leave D Nails, I go straight to the liquor store. This particular store is called Branded Barrel. This is where I get my wine most of the time. And the only wine that I drink, y'all, is Quadia Lecture. I'll review it later, but... I grabbed two bottles of my favorite flavors, some Malibu and some Pink Whitney miniatures, and then I went home to run my bath. I'm about to get in my bath. I just wanted to review this wine for y'all real quick. If you follow me on Instagram and ever watch my Instagram stories, and you've seen this wine a couple times, it is the only wine that I drink. I got the red. Quadi Electra, the company is Quadi, and this is the Red Electra Moscato. And then they have a white Electra Moscato. They also have a pink rose one, which is really good as well, but these are my top two favorite. You've seen the pink one in the store if you were paying attention when I was recording in the store. The red one is about halfway gone because I'm on my second glass already. I was sipping on the glass as I was waiting for my water to run. And then now um, I'm about to have a glass with my bath. My mama put me on this wine either at the end of last year or early this year. But either way it goes, ever since I started drinking this wine, I have not drank anything else. It is very, very sweet. I'm a person who's all about taste. I'm a drinker. I will drink, but it has to taste good. So... I don't like bitter wines. I don't like wines that leave an aftertaste in your mouth. It has to be really rich, really sweet, like really savory for me to drink it. And of course, this is because I haven't went back to anything else. It's $11.99 a bottle. Some stores have it for $12.99. I think Total Wine has it for $13.99. But either way, I think it's a very affordable price for what you get. This wine is amazing real quick i want to show y'all the book that i'm reading in my bath tonight it is called daddy's maybe y'all i love a good scandal if the book don't have a scandal i'm not really going to read it these are my favorite types of books fictional drama out black books like y'all don't know what category to put them in i guess it's yeah just a fictional book but it's very scandalous um, I started it at the beginning of quarantine and I was reading other stuff and watching other series. Let me back up because my head cut off. But I was reading this and also reading other things and watching other series so I didn't finish it. But basically it's about this man who was paying for paying child support or just taking care of a child for years and years and years. Had one of those bitter baby mamas that took him up and through there, stressing him out, did everything he could for that child just to find out that it wasn't his. And so he was so angry because, not because of his relationship with the child, like, I think he was happy. Um, they only briefly just give a small glimpse of what he was going through. Maybe they might go more in depth in the, um, towards the end of the book. But from the beginning, from what I gathered from it is he's in love with the child. He was happy with the child, but it was 
all the stress the mama put him through that really had him frustra frustrated. So by the time he found out the child wasn't his, after everything he went through, he started this whole organization. And now he helps fathers that recently got put on child support or recently had a baby. And he helps them, I guess, investigate mothers. And pretty much it's just real scandalous because he has this whole organization. There's other fathers that have been raising babies for years and find out that their wives, girlfriends, whatever, have these kids with other people and they're raising them. And the women come out and say, yeah, I just felt like you were a better fit. I knew that you wouldn't leave me hanging. I knew it was his, but I knew you would be by my side. So I told you it was yours. And for whatever reason, they had these men tied into these situations with the kids. And this man is exposing everybody. So it's called Daddy's Maybe. And he's pretty much exposing all of these mothers out here having false claiming their baby daddies or whatever. So that's, I probably got to... This chapter is called Parker. They don't number the chapters. They just put the titles. It's called Parker. I don't know what chapter this is, but I'm like right here in the book. I have this much to go, so this much to go. So I have a lot more tea to uncover, but thus far what I've read, 